Greetings everyone and welcome back to Backpack Hero where we are of course back with Purse Ninja with an aged shield, a hearty meal, a wooden sword and a broken idol that looks distressingly like a poop emoji. We will just move on and try to ignore it. Right, we're going to go for the crypt this time because we've been to the bramble the last few times actually. And we'll see what our luck has in store for us. Hopefully we can get some bows. I would like to do a bow run, but we might have to... Oh, no, we're fighting against a fact. Uh, we might have to wait until I can talk with Matthew to get that one set up. Right, okay, we kind of need to take you down quickly. I do want to take... Well, we don't actually need to worry too much about you, realistically. Uh, simply because you're not going to be too much of a concern early on. There we are. Get rid of that meal. You're going to steal nothing. And then you're going to try and skedaddle. There we go. You're now going to do nothing for the rest of the turn. You're going to do a little bit of damage. But uh, that shield, not too bad, actually. You managed to uh, hold up quite nicely. All right. When combat ends, removed from backpack. The only constant is change. Be at peace with it. And we can't place this in the same space twice, so I need to constantly be reorganizing my backpack. If I ever leave this behind, then the run is effectively a failure for us, which is uh, obviously not great. Oh, I should have blocked there. That was rather silly of me. It was a little bit too focused. I could reorganize to get a sapphire straight away, and I don't see a reason not to. There you go. Now let's block. There we go, and should easily be able to... Oh, I, never mind. We, we can't. Uh, but I do want to bring that sapphire back to have a side kill. Alright, let's level up. Of course, we're going to go for the tried and tested room for a helmet. Uh, oh. Did we leveled up twice? I mean, I won't say no. Sure. Uh, the tried and tested uh, set up there to get the helmet in early on. Show me around. Oh, we've got a bow. Ha ha. Okay, not bad. Uh, do I want to bring this along this early? Maybe. I need to find a bow. Uh, sorry, an arrow, but sure. Uh, we can also bring in some chainmail. This plus one to the energy cost for this uh, each turn, so we only really want to use that once. Uh, is there anything else I want to bring along? I'm not thinking of going magic this time. Uh, the warm drink wouldn't be bad, but I can't bring anything else with me just yet. What have we got over here? Got a shiv. Don't uh, won't say no to that. And a dart. Also won't say no. Have we got anything else here that I need? No, not particularly. Right. Open up against the bee. First with these. Finish you off. There you go. Nice and easy. Now, you're going to need to move. Now, I'm... Yeah, it does look like I'm going to have to constantly be moving that. I was hopeful that it wouldn't be a case that I need to... That I could swap it back to the uh, area it had been previously. But no. No, that is not the case. Makes sense, though. All right, we've got a short arrow. With my chainmail, that's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a struggle, honestly. But having this up there, th that three damage for free, effectively, hard to say no to. I could have this up here, that would trigger it, but it would trigger it for almost no damage. It's, it would just do a tiny, tiny bit of damage. At least there, it does three. But it does three. Well, actually, no. On use fires the first arrow in the row, plus one to the energy cost this turn. So, I guess that doesn't. That doesn't hurt, though. If I had that there instead, I would do three damage first. Then, yeah, it's more or less the same. 1.5 damage for each space to the right. It might be better for me to do something like... Hmm. Well, this is only giving me plus two block. I would like it, though, because it is going to be a useful item to have around. This one I don't need. I could have the shift there. Uh, I could perhaps have this. Yeah, there we go. I'm firing both now. So that's going to do two damage. This is going to do two damage. So I'm doing four damage for nothing, effectively. Uh, I could perhaps shimmy them a little bit more. How about something like this? Yeah, there we go. 
That's doing three. This is doing three. And for one energy, effectively, I could fire that this twice. So I would do six damage in total, though, for one energy. I'm already doing seven damage with the wooden sword. Uh, it's a tricky one. I think maybe I should just get rid of the chain mail, though. If I'm perfectly honest. At this point, we're doing six damage with that. Four damage with this. We'll keep the shiv. And I think that this will work. For the most part, it should. I could bring along some liquid armor just in case. And that might not be a bad move. Alright, we've shimmied things out quite a lot. Right. Do we want to go for the Dove Deacon or the Sparrow Knave first? Uh... Let's go for the Sparrow Knave. There we go. And finish you off. Perfect. Okay. Right, you're going to do six damage. I uh, should have gone for that, actually. Oh, yeah, because that cost two. I was not paying enough attention to that. I did mention that cost would be going up, but... Oh, well. Uh, so open up one, two... Now it's going to cost you. I, I don't know. When I moused over it, it seemed that it may have just been a tiny little bit of lag in updating the uh, the cost there. Uh, we've got the double halberd. Now is the tricky part because I do want these boots in here. Can't place that there. But what I can do is I can just slowly rotate this through. That's two whole fights that I've got. Uh, sorry, three fights that I've got. Two in, uh, ca upcoming. Uh, and six positive to all enemies. I think I prefer that one. There we are. Finished choosing. And let's be on our way. Grab some gold. See what we've got going on over here. Uh, get a rarer item of the same type. This. Takes the item and examines it. How's this for a trade? There's no time to say no. Oh. <laughs> I assumed when it said the same type that it meant if I give you an arrow, I'll get an arrow, but apparently no. Alright. I will take that one on the chin, I guess. Uh, in fact, I'm going to try and... Well... Yeah. I'll end up using that, I should imagine, and then that one will have a little bit more room. But that is, that is a shame. That has just actually broken my bows. My bow build is now very much... Very much a poor bow build, bow build at best. Now let's have a look. Three damage to armor. Two burn to a weapon. Conductive to armor. I would not mind giving this to two burn. I would have liked to have done it on a uh, on a larger bow, but uh, sorry, larger arrow, but that'll do. All right, let's try and take you out. I could open up with this. I do need it for research, though, but for now, this is four damage and two burn, which is fine. We're going to need a block. And you will then die on your turn. So that all seems fine. I would very much like to get through you if I can. Let's try and get that burn going. Shank. Unless I, you're within killing distance, the diamond cleaver is no use to me. You will die to this weapon on the next turn. Uh, now you've got way too much block there, so... Let's just work through here. Let's build up the shield a little bit. There we go. By next turn, you're only going to have 7 health, which I should be able to pull down quite convincingly on there then use the diamond cleaver plus one gold not bad actually all things said and done not bad at all we'll just use up the rest of our energy there so once again attack with the bow finish off with the diamond cleaver get a little bit of extra cash okay level up time it's at this point that I very much want to try and expand out space for arrows at the top. Done and done. Get items. Shimmy down. Luck ring. Always a wonderful one to have. Uh, we want to move the bow up. 
I could have the the uh, shiv over there. Alternatively, I could have you in there, and I think that might be a better claim. This is going to allow me to do five damage there, but this takes it down to three, so really, I, that, that is the better play for me. There's no two ways about it. Spiky Club adds slow to enemies. Not actually something I care about, but we've got some arrows down here. I don't know why I wasn't paying attention to those right from the get-go. Uh, we could do this. That does five damage. This does five damage. That's a really solid option. Now, both of these are needed for research. You are specifically needed to get the Swamp Buckler, and percent block equal to 100% of your current poison on use at zero block, but removes 100% poison from self. That is wildly good, whereas this simply gives me the Wooden Blade, unlocks the Hourglass run, and also gives me the Bow Blade. Hmm. How does that give me the Bow Blade? I did right-click on that, didn't I? I did. Well, the wooden blade is smaller. But really, that's the only thing that I'd get from it. I guess I could leave the, the shiv. We'll take them along. But at this stage, we're now doing much more damage just with the arrows. So I'm tempted to just... Uh, go with that. That being said, the first one uses up one, uh, zero energy, one energy, and both of these use more energy per turn, so actually, yeah, it's worth me bringing this along still, uh, for the time being. Unless I want to just say, yeah, throw caution to the wind and go with that. And I don't actually mind. Yeah, I think I think that one might not be too bad. I know, I know. I really do need to bring that along at some point, but for now I'm just going to live without it. Right. I would like to go back here and add burn to a weapon on the arrow. There we go. Now having one that does poison, one that does burn, is a solid option. But I'm pretty happy that I have both of these doing burn. Right, so open up. There we go. Eight burn is brutal <laughs> for like turn one. Uh, let's block the incoming damage. Use my shiv. Use my diamond. Well, I guess I can use my diamond cleaver. Sure. And it's the only thing I can use. So. Right, you're taken out from that. Now I very much need to just block all of the incoming damage. So I'm just going to tank that. And I'll just use my uh, shiv. Where I can. Oh, actually, again, because of the composite bow, the first strike is free, so that still works. Still going to take a little bit of damage, but it's not the not the worst thing in the world. Right, there we go. And again, you're now going to die on your turn. Still do go through the motions all the same. Right, get items. Need to rotate this around. Starting to run out of places to put that. Uh, anything in here that I need? Uh, well, I, I kind of need that because it looks delicious, but don't need need it. Add five block. Uh, when an adjacent item is destroyed, plus two block this combat. I haven't got anything that destroys itself each combat. Uh, so that's not going to be a, an option for us, but that would have been amazing to place there. This is a rare item that I could sell, if nothing else. And I guess I could bring along the meal just because. Let's grab all of that. And then let's go get a uh, big whomping heal because, oh my lord, do I need it. Uh, let's have a quick gander. You've got a crossbow. Arrows to the right get minus 40% damage, but it'll fire every arrow in each row to the right. Crossbows are amazing if you've got a just a massive stock of arrows. They're actually quite broken in that scenario. Um, well, we're going to sell this. Keeping that for now. No, I don't think I want to grab that one. Alright, that's all we're doing with the shop for the time being. Let's go and see what else we've got hanging around. 
Got another Sapphire. Now, that one's an interesting one because I could put that in place, but it doesn't really benefit me in any particular way. Um, I could be rid of the... Really? You lie. I don't need a shift. We'll take this instead. The spikes each turn have the potential to scale for us. And right now I'm looking for things that can help us in a scaling capacity. I smell treasure nearby. I don't have any money. I'm afraid. I would... Well, I could ask for a weapon, but the, the odds of me... Getting, well, can I ask you for bows specifically? No. Okay, no thanks. I appreciate the offer, though, but I am very shy on cash. I would have gone for an arrow. To, uh, sorry, uh, not bows. Oh, though, that being said, I would have gone for a different type of bow as well. Well, right, let's see what we can do here. He'd be kind of cute if he wasn't such a violent person. Uh, right. Well, let's gobble down the meal. We're just going to put everything into points early on. There we go. And unload. And we are just going to use up all of that energy. There we go. 16 burn first turn. Don't need to block at all. So once again, up to 27 burn. This scales so terrifyingly fast. I will need to block this turn though. You will be dead next turn, so that's fine. And so we'll just pass the turn. There we go. All right, and we got our level up. Perfect. All right, we've got three spaces, so let's expand this out a little bit. Done with that. And now we want to shimmy back our bows. And at this stage, let's start filling these out just slowly, little by little. Right, Shield Demon. All shields get this effect applied. On use, all adjacent weapons are used. All shields get this effect applied. On use, adjacent weapons are disabled for this turn. Huh. I know it might sound silly, but... There is a world in which this is a very, very useful thing for me to do. I could instead take this and it just means deal five damage to all enemies when you use five items. I guess this would use these twice. One, two, three, four for one energy. And I'd be using this, so I, yeah, I would be doing five damage to all enemies at least once per turn. But I could get an extra use out of this when this is costing me two energy by just using my shield once and then it would disable it and i think that's a really really solid way to go so yeah we're gonna we're gonna roll with that one i don't really need this but i'll pick it up i guess for no other reason than i can uh we don't need a he oh actually no we do need a healer um Four gold for 20. Sure. We'll get a full heal. And as for our friend over here, would you like to take this back with you? So, uh, this can also go back with you. So anything else in here that I would like to send back? Uh, the rose can go back with you too. Everything else we're keeping. Uh, in that case, I've got a lot of room that I can play with. Oh, well, no, that's not entirely true. I still need this to be up top. But I, I do still have quite a lot of room. In fact, at this stage, I could have a separate set of boots down here if I really wanted. Uh, which would be amusing to me. Um, I wonder. Could I do this? Or would that work? It would technically fire each one. This would do four damage. This would do five damage. But because of the lack of that being next to them, this would do six and four, whereas if I do this, let's have a quick gander at how much damage they output. This is now eight and six. Yeah, it's it's hard to not do that. Uh, though an interesting point, you don't, it doesn't really matter where they're put, 
And these blank spaces do still count. So this is still doing six and this is still doing eight because they don't have to be um, in sequence. They just need for each blank space. So this being here does no particular uh, penalty to it. This is still affecting both of them. They're still doing a lot of burn. So I, you know what? I think this is a pretty solid bow build. Uh, let's go on down to the deep cave. Continue on our way. Please tell me I moved the... Uh... Oh, thank goodness. For a dread, dire second there, I thought I hadn't positioned that somewhere new, and there's a consequence that I just ruined the run. Oh, the panic. Right, we're going to be up against the badger. Uh, hello. A massive smith. His mustache twitches slightly as he examines your backpack. See any other forges recently? He asks. They may tell you that your items have a limit, but it wasn't always so. Us old badgers know a different way. This is a uh, harken back to the fact that in early access, there was no limit on how many times you could smith an item. You just had to have the money and the item. And so when you were doing like um, uh, endless runs where you'd get to the third layer, beat it and then start at the beginning again, you could end up smithing god weapons. But this one, they will add a slot onto an item. And I will happily accept it. The heat from the hammer creates a glowing, uh, creates a glowing red. You cover your eyes from the sparks. When you see it again, you are amazed to see that your item looks untarnished and new. There we go. Thank you very much indeed. Ray Smith, welcome to Forge. I could add more burn. I would love to add poison though. Add haste or shield, hmm. or add three slow. All of these are good. I would love to add poison, though. Having extra poison on this would be glorious, but... At the same time, doing six burn is kind of huge. So we'll do that. Maybe we can get a, uh, a wet stone to add the poison. That would also work. Right, now I need to very carefully decide how I'm doing this. So... I also need to set that one up as well. First off, there we go, six. Then, yeah, I've got to mouse off it in order to see how it look, how it's going to work. That does a decent bit of damage there. You're going to die when I use this, which is fine. Let's take you out. Now, this is going to hurt a bit, but that's just the way it's going to be. So let's go with this. Oh, did it not trigger it? Huh. All adjacent weapons are used. Does it still require that I use the energy for it, though? Oh, it's a bow. It doesn't count as a weapon. Maybe what I could do is put those on this side, but it means only one of them would get used and then it would be disabled for the rest of the fight. Ah, oh, that's a that's a bit less useful than I than I had hoped then. Oh well. Right, gonna need to deal with you now, actually. Uh so and again, there we are. Now I've got a bit of incoming damage coming from you. Oh, of course, I uh, was using two. I keep forgetting that. Definitely don't need that. Right, you're going to dodge, but you're going to take so much damage, it's not going to matter. Oh. And... I guess follow up once, and then use that again. There we go. Taking unnecessary amounts of damage here. Right, you're going to die before you actually do any damage to me, so I'm not going to bother worrying about it. And same for you, I guess, at this point. Um, in that case, give me some cash. Dodge there. So this damage should kill you. There we go. Right, get items. Let's see what we get. Also, I need to move things around a bit more. Right, we've got the heart ring. We've got a battle ring, which would give adjacent weapons plus one damage. But what I would like to see is if this could still work for me. 
If this would trigger that, then disable it for a turn. Because it only disables this turn. Uh, pick up the key. We've got a dousing rod as well. Conductive, on use, creates a mana stone. Destroyed. When combat ends, adds luck. Sure, I'll uh, make a mana stone for myself. Uh, guess I can put it up there. Would I want to use it on this, though, in that case? Probably. We'll see how the, this plays out. But that's all we're going to need to do there. We'll grab the gold. There we go. Let's go and see what we have in this chest. We have a wheel. On use, moves forward until stopped. When this finishes moving, turns clockwise. When this moves, adjacent weapons get plus five this turn. Each turn, this item is used. I guess I could create a little area back here for that. But I would lose a bit of damage on these. It's uh, possible, though. Definitely possible. Where's the nearest shop? I haven't found the shop yet. So bring in the Ninja Star. It's just a rare consumable for all intents and purposes. There is the machete, though. Can be used one time each turn. Deals three damage to all enemies. Is a nice option, but I don't think we're going to take it. Not for this one. All right, let's go and see what we can do. We want to take you out. We definitely need to get rid of you. Uh, let's open up strong. There we go. You're going to die. I'm just going to clean up there. Oh, that's my bad. I, I miscalculated how that was going to go. Right, I want to see if this gets used. It does. Huh. All right. Then there is a way that I could make that work for me. It's a little bit more of a convoluted way of setting it up, but it is a way that I could get that to uh, the work the way I would want. But that that's not too bad. I do get an extra shot with the uh, the arrow then as a consequence. So that's that's useful. Right, is that going to turn? Yep. It's got to move first though before it does anything, but that's fine. Uh, right, I want to destroy that. Oh. Can be used one time each turn. Conducted must be placed on an item on. Use this item is played. Uh, items this is played on are destroyed. Adds one mana for each space the, destro the destroyed item occupies. Each combat empties mana. Right. So I have to feed this thing. Not exactly the mana stone I was hoping for. That being said, it is a rare mana stone. And that will be useful for me. Right, I don't need to dodge anymore, so I may as well just do a load of more damage. Ooh. Archangel Wings. Now that one is a powerful one. Adjacent to Diagonal Armor gets plus one block. Uh, gives me eight block. This was giving me ten block for three spaces. It would give me eight block for two spaces. So this is the more efficient one. Um, I'm, for a battle, I'm going to move that around, um, just like so. But, these are absolutely bonkers. The item between the wings gets this effect applied. On use, disable for one turn. Now, problem is, what do I use it on? Because right now, the only thing that would make sense for me to have it hooked up to is a shield. And the consequence of doing that is that it would immediately disable the bow. <laughs> but it's such a good item. It's an honestly tricky one for me. I want to bring these. These are great for something that costs like three or four energy to use a turn. If I pop that there, that gives me the, the full bonus all the same. Um...
trying to figure out where to put it in my backpack at the moment is uh, is tricky in and of itself. I, I definitely want to bring it, though. I could just honestly have it next to these, and that would be fine. If I did something like this. That does negate the use of the wheel, though. But this would automatically use the diamond cleaver for free every turn. Uh, it saves me one energy in exchange for two spaces. Now, obviously, I want something much more potent for that, but we'll have a look for it. Passing up on this doesn't make sense. It's such a rare item. We've got a shop just down there. If nothing else, I could just sell it, frankly. And we're going to get rid of you. Is there anything here I really want? The cloud sword. This item floats for each adjacent or diagonal structure plus two damage. On you, steals eight damage. Uh, get rid of that as well. Get even more cash. It's a th three layer sword, and again, it floats, so it wouldn't be as useful for me. Could afford it, though. But it would take up so much space in my arrow lane up here. And yes, you can fire the the, boat, the arrows back at the boat, which is a bit silly, I know, but still, it's funny. Uh, that's actually going to disable this now each turn, which isn't ideal, but okay. Well, that's all it is. Let's see what you are. Uh, spin the wheel of choice. I could get a helmet. I'm apparently allergic to the idea of getting a helmet because I just sneeze so hard. Uh, I have no idea what that is, but we've got a couple of other items around here. None of them are curses, so let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we get. Oh. Oh, apparently that is a curse. Well, uh, the evil... <laughs> oh, no. Is it going to crawl around behind walls? Pulls items closer. If the item cannot move closer, it will be destroyed. When this destroys an item, adds two rage to self. No. I'm just going to leave that there. That's going to cause me to have a curse now, but uh, I don't care. Right. I could have these boots down here or up here initially. I guess we're not going with magic right now, so... That works for now. Uh, let's go grab the experience. There we are. And into another fight. And then we'll probably go and... Uh, hello? You don't look like a, an elite. Really into Pachinko. Wow. It is actually the mole from Peglin. I love that so much. My goodness. That is amazing. Right, now we need to uh, block. And uh, indeed, block again just because I can. Doesn't really do anything this turn. But you've already got 16... Uh, oh, oh dear. Avalanche, on use, destroyed. Um, I so deeply disapprove of what you're about to try and do. It's not going to actually do damage to me, though, so I'm just going to do this because it's going to just try and give me a curse. Can I pop that there? All right. Uh, let's pop it over here just in case it's heavy because then it'll stop on this aisle. All right, let's get rid of it, I guess. Yeah, because it's go it's dramatically reducing my, my output. My uh, damage output. Not that we really needed to worry about it, because we were going to win anyway. All right, okay, get items. Bloody evil hand. Got another cool ring. A helmet. Uh, some things that need to now be moved around a bit. It's fine. If I put that in there, that gives me an extra four blocks, so it's really hard for me to say no to. Only well, gives me three block here, but it's still pretty solid. A three passive block, so I'd get seven passive block a turn. We've seen how amazing those can make runs. I think we're going to keep it. It does greatly diminish my damage output, though. 
Well, actually, it only drops my one point of damage, so that's fine. I think we'll live with that one. Right, let's go and see if there's anything more that we can do down here, though. I wouldn't mind adding haste to a shield, sure. I don't believe either of these weapons can take anything more. No. However, I could add burn onto the cleaver. I'm not going to in this instance because I really would like to try and get some poison on it. I would like one of my weapons to do poison. Alright. The second of three rooms. Uh, we are going to go for the experience, so let's go and say hello to you. Okay, two crossbows. That is kind of terrifying, not going to lie. We need to get rid of them. Sharpish. I've got seven incoming damage. That's not a problem for me. You're going to do a huge amount of damage there. Let's start ramping up the damage on that side. Right, you're dead automatically, so I don't need to worry about you. You've, all, you've lost your dodge because the cleaver automatically triggered. So I just need to do a little bit of extra damage, and you're no longer a concern. There we are. And now I'm just going to build up my block for the time being. There we are. Two uses of that get me, gets me two haste. We're good. You're going to die. I think that you can't dodge burn damage. Oh, you can. Oh, that's terrifying. All right. Bear that, bearing that in mind, then. Ah, that was a shame. Because there was really no reason for me to take that much damage. If I'd realized that you could dodge burn... Imagine being so fast you can literally dodge the flames that are dancing across the surface of your body. Right, we've got three spaces, and I think what we're going to do is grab two there. And start building out the spaces along this point. And with... Yeah, with there is one alternative. I could give each of these an extra space, which gives them a little bit of extra damage, or I could allow both of them to be triggered once more by doing that. I kind of like that more. Because now if I do this, well, that will activate both of those weapons. Uh, we've got a spirit fire room. This item has a use in Havasat kill, okay. We've got the Rose of Thorns, so I can start building up my spikes again. We've also got the Bronze Breastplate. Now, that one is a huge win for us. If I can find a way of positioning it in here. I guess I don't technically need that. That will be massive. It's almost big enough for me to drop the ring. But this is upgrading so many different things. Even the hat. For each row below gets plus one block, so putting it there, this will still get me five. Yeah, that is way too good. It's doing seven. That's doing five. I think that's a decent setup. I could bring along the meal and just gobble. In fact, I could bring along both meals and gobble them both down instantly in the first fight. Just scarf the lot. Right, I'm low on health now, though. So this is a dangerous place for me to be. I'm just going to Garble all of this down, like I said. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Right. Hello, you. I would like you to not be alive next turn. Thank you for your cooperation. It is deeply appreciated. Same with you. And then we're just going to unload what remains. There we go. Trigger those again. It's effectively like using my bow one extra time so we've achieved what i would have had with the what my original plan was with the composite bow i just don't need the shield to be next to the bow all right this is not too bad you're going to die you're taking a lot of damage each turn so that's also pretty amazing right, we're just going to unload into this i've already got passive block enough there we go That being said, it will probably be worth using this twice because it gives me haste. Sure. Because I can build that up that way. 
And this is uh, mirroring my action, so if I defend on my last turn, then that just helps out a little bit. Right, we've got a hand axe over here. Can be used one time each turn. Must have used a consumable this turn. No, uh, we're not doing that, I'm afraid. Right, where are you going this turn? I need to find a new spot for you. And sadly, that means that I'm not buffing this, but I'm still buffing most of the things here, so that's okay. But the flame gem... <laughs> Jason Wems gets plus two burn. How can I say no? Like, really? Oh... How, how could I possibly say no? The luck is great. But having even more burn. We're now applying 10 burn per shot. So in total, that's about 30 burn a turn. I need to keep this though because we want to send it back to Haversack Hill. Which is a pain. But I'll just shimmy it around, I guess. I could still have that there, and it's still... Well, no, because then I'm not using the extra point. Uh, it's frustrating to have that, but oh well. Maybe if I could unlock another tile, but uh, it's a big ask at this point. Right now, we're kind of focused on just doing the status effect. Still only got 11 health. Right. Well, you're doing 10 damage, which is unpleasant. You're going to run away with some of my cash, which is even more unpleasant. There we go. And then... I need two points to be able to get you back to a defense. Because the first one, I use defense, you switch to defense, and then I that triggers an attack, which switches you to attack. So I need to bear that in mind. If I, if I want to have you copy my uh, my motions, then I need to have two points at the end of the turn. There we go. 30 burn there. Right, you're going to be dead and you're going to give me back my gold. And you're just going to continue to stack up the horrific amounts of burn. You're up to 59 burn, and I've got four haste at this point, so every block is worth four, which is uh, why my passive block is getting so high. Very, uh, to be honest, I, I don't even need to use passive block anymore, but uh, it's still. Uh, sorry, I don't even need to use regular block anymore. All right, there we go. Uh, we've got a stacking shuriken. Let's have a quick look at the map. Got a merchant down there. All right, where is this going? It has to go over there. It's the only place left that I can put it. So, to that end. Shimmy things around a bit. That still actually gives me all of the bonuses I need. I just lose a little bit of damage. But that's okay. Um, is there anything here I need to take back? Not particularly. Well, dynamite, I suppose. I, I will pick that up, I guess. All right, finish that. Let's go and see what we've got. Cards hold off future or doom. I don't feel like playing them. I don't want to curse. Let's see what you've got. Have you got poison? I do not. Regen to a ring. I don't have a ring. Sad times. Uh, two spikes to a shield, though. I can't fit it on there. Two blocks to a shield. Conductive to armor isn't going to be useful for me. Uh, because I've not, I'm not using mana. Oh, that was, a, that was a real shame. That was a real shame. Alright, you will be a problem eventually. Uh, but for now, I can probably just stack up some uh, fire on you and it should be okay. Right, you're going to do a little bit of damage, but nothing I'm too concerned with. You're going to die from the amount of fire I've built up. Now, I just need to get through there. That will now kill you. You're not going to be dodging it, so... But even if you were, I'm still going to out-block the damage coming my way. This feels like I'm... Just playing this entire run very, very uh, on the knife's edge. We've been at 11 health for so shockingly long. Another bronze breastplate, which is interesting. Uh, when a wand kills an enemy, add two mana to the connected mana network. Have we got a shop? We do. So a rare item would not be amiss. 
Now we're getting into the position where I need room to uh, place items there. We'll grab the cleansing wand as well. There we go. Let's go and say hi. Hello there. Alright, I would like to be rid of this. Oh. The Earth Stone Blade. This item is heavy for each row below plus three damage. Deals five damage on use. Now, the way a weapon like this would be amazing is if you placed it somewhere up like that. Because it would have a bunch of rows below it, it would do a lot of extra damage. Um, it's got three upgrade points. Get rid of that as well. If I'm, I'm honest, the dynamite don't just don't need it. This is really tempting, but it would completely change my build. But each turn, this would be doing 14 damage. I'm not sure that I could really put anything on uh, any enchantments. Yeah, we don't have enchantments with this smith to make use of the three enchantment slots that that one has. So we'd be better off just looking for something else, like different arrows. Yeah, that would definitely work. Uh... Now, the interesting thing here is with the shield as it is, I could do something like this. And although the bow isn't going to trigger all of that, this will. Which is a funny one. It, I just don't see much of a reason to. And using two of these means that I'm not going to be able to use the rare flame gem on both. And this one's already upgraded to add burn so as much as i want that realistically the the thing i needed was a bigger bow to be able to use larger arrows or, or more more rows effectively so nothing here really jumps out at me i'm sorry to say uh let's go for this one i chose poorly oh well moving on to the finale then Okay, let's just double check that things are where they need to be, uh, more or less. I wish I could move that down, I can't. I could move this down, and that will still give me four passive block, and as long as I'm, yeah, as long as I'm building up my uh, haste, that should be okay. Right, you're gonna add a bunch of rage to yourself, and so I'm going to counter that in uh, standard AVAC fashion, but just adding lots of fire to you. So like Horizon Zero Dawn all over again. Right, one, two, and then double block. We're still gonna take a bit of damage on this round, but next round our passive shielding is gonna start to really help. You're gonna continue to get stronger, so I just really need to focus on taking you down as fast as I can. Double block, going up to 41. Uh, you're at 88 burn already. This, I could have done all sorts of changes to play around with different things, but realistically, this bow build was already stupid strong. There was nothing I was going to be able to add that would make this better. There we go. We win. Let's make sure that this is somewhere in my, in my uh, inventory. There we are, and go grab the spark. And out we go. Not too bad. A little bit of a, a potch having to move that around all the time, but I'm fairly happy with this one. Hello, Sam, how are you doing? Hey, kid, sit down and get a drink. I did. Uh, how old is Purse? Right. Uh, let's, I've still got to set up your workshop. I still don't have your limited edition quill swish 
something, something, something or other. Uh, shall we see if I can't build the... Oh yeah, Constance's house. Can I fit that down here? I cannot fit it down there. Uh, maybe I could put it over here. Does this benefit from any kind of proximity? No, it's just a residence building. Okay, well, uh, let's get you moving in. Oh, can't, can't build on... I'm not trying to build more water. Though. What the? Okay, uh, I guess I'll build her over here. Since, you know, you, you were quite far away to start with. Maybe you don't really want to be around everyone. Uh, I kind of need to destroy those. There we go. There we are. Constance, you've now got your home over here. Let's go and see if I can't find Constance to chat with them. Let's swing all the way up. Hello. Thank you for building me that cottage, dearie. I'm setting up a new workshop now, and I might make some delicious cookies in there too. Can I tell you a story? Long ago, back in the days when this forest was barely a few trees, I used to be an explorer of the dungeon, just like you. There were a few of us that could go so deep you'd think we'd come out the other side of the world. I used to go down there and research the old machinery you could find there, try and figure out how it worked. One day, my good friend, a rabbit named Matthew, found this curious thing. A little mouse, made of metal. <gasps> Is this how we get Crate? We took it back to the lab to see if we could figure the thing out. It was in horrible shape. Had to throw most of his parts out and replace him with clockwork bits, but we got it working again. And boy, did he work. He used to be such a sweetie and help me around my old lab. He'd even go into the dungeon to fetch me materials. But then I lost my lab during those doggone raids, and with it, my dear robot friend. Now that I have my lab back, I can maybe see if we can find him. I miss him terribly. Do let me know if you see a little robot mouse down in the dungeon. How can I help you? Uh, research. My lord, okay, so this is how we get, uh, this is how we get crate. We've got to bring the robot head, the robot body, the robot legs, and finally a lost spark, and then we unlock crate. And this is going to be glorious. Easily my favorite character in the game, uh, at least. In the the early access, whether that's still the the, the case now with Haversack Hill, I don't know. Actually, we'll have to see. But let's go ahead and jump in here. We've still got all of the things that I didn't sell last time. Thinking about it, I probably should. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I should probably have uh, dealt with those. But uh, got to use a potion there. But I want to use only things that are specific. Each turn, if connected to one mana, adds three spikes to self. Removes one mana from the connected mana network. Three spikes is quite a lot. All right, let's have a quick gander. There we go. Now I just need to get that buckler. Uh, I do have clothing, though. Um, sure, we'll unlock that one. Uh, that shield shouldn't be too hard for me to find, I don't think. Uh, let's see. Cleaver Uncommon. There you go. And we'll... S well, we can't get the Queen Cleaver. Deal six damage, and then all diagonal cleavers are used. If you, if you build up a proper cleaver build, it can be... Absolutely wild the amount of uh, the amount of attacks you make per turn. Now there is a downside to making lots of attacks per turn, lots of melee attacks anyway, and that is that you will eventually get to a point where someone will have spikes and you will kill yourself on them. It's a rather sad way to go. But we have unlocked the bow blade. There we are. Uh, actually, was there anything else we could look for? There are a couple of other things we could look for. Uh, we've got poison arrow over there, which I would very much like. Um, we've got a regular arrow, we've got the explosive arrow, which again, very good, deals damage to all enemies, that one. Uh, well, we're gonna go with this one. Actually, we'll go with both. And then I can unlock the fire arrow straight out of the game. Uh, right, down here, nothing that we can unlock there. We do have the Sapphire, so we've now unlocked the Ruby. Adjacent weapons get plus four damage, and it also doesn't float, which is fantastic. Uh, there anything else then for us to unlock? No, there is not. Okay. Well, all that remains then is to head on over here and sell all of my gubbins. See how much we can make off this. Right, you can have everything. And sell... So I can see here, gain resources. I guess uh, are these things that is it trying to tell me that I can use those in something? Is that why I'm not automatically selling them? Let's just double check. 
I didn't see anything that I could use before. No. Well, let's go and sell it then. I'm just going to throw caution to the wind. We're going to sell all of the extra gubbins we've got in there. There we are. Pomp. Loads of cash. And now I can go back and uh, finish off some of the research. Right, now we're just looking for things that I've already largely unlocked, so... This one's on me. Plus 2% each time you win gold. You start with these items, you must keep them the entire run. A keg and a bomb stone. You start with these. A, a little buckler, which I need for a research. A piggy bank. And some gold. The run ends after area 2. Rewards are... Box of nails. And a bowl of fruit. Fair enough. Uh, is there anything else in here I particularly wanted to grab? Or could grab? I guess there's these. We could unlock the various fish that we'd be able to find. Is there really a room for that? I'm not going to go for those yet. I think those are something that I will unlock later. Uh, but is there anything in here that I would like to unlock? Uh, no, there doesn't appear to be. That was a bit of an odd one. Right, okay. Hammers. The claw hammer. Can be used one time each turn. Hammers two spaces away. Get plus 50% bonus damage. And on use, deals three damage. Nice. Uh, we can unlock this, the weapon rack. It's a military decoration, so my uh, uh, military builders will be able to get a bit of an upgrade. We can get the poison dagger. There we go. Very, very nice indeed. That one's a huge one. We can also get the cleaver. The queen cleaver is now unlocked. Uh, we can also get the crow hammer. Uh, for each hammer, two spaces away, plus one gold. On use, deals five damage. On kill... Uh, oh, right, okay, so the for each hammer plus two away, when you kill something, you get that equivalent uh, amount of gold. That's actually pretty cool. We can also unlock the smoke dagger. Can be used one time each turn on use. Oh, deals four damage, but does it twice. Interesting. If you put burn on that, I imagine that would do the, the stated burn twice. That would be very, very potent. Right, we're very shy on research now, so we're going to go for a couple of other things. We've unlocked uh, the ice cream run for uh, Satchel. And we could probably unlock this, which is easy mode for Tote. Plus 15 to max health, minus 25% to enemy health. You can take one item. There is a, there is a lost spark for Tote on easy mode. I quite like that. I, that is actually quite nice if you are struggling then you know you just need to get up to a little bit of uh of resources and you can unlock an easy mode which will allow you to progress the story that's kind of neat uh let's see over here a bit shy on those unfortunately that uh, would have been great but uh, not meant to be not today at least uh let's see is there anything else we can get no nope, nothing in there Oh, it looks like we're running out of options now. Yep. Yep, that's it. Okay, well, I'm not going to spend anything more unless I can actually unlock something. Uh, let's instead see if I can build something. So we can make another fishing shack if I really wanted some more food. I can make a farm if I wanted more food. Uh, there's something to be said about that. That being said, let's uh, check out the farmland. What is the... Uh, area around the farmland. Yeah, we we could fill out those rows above. That would actually be quite nice. So, doing something like this. There we go. If I have a look there. Yeah, then we just bring it down a little bit more. That's good enough, I would say. I mean, I can still decorate it a little bit more, even though it doesn't actually help me sod it. Let's make it look nice. There we go. Nice big old rose for the farm. Perfect. Uh, right, now, weapon rack. I believe these are the buildings which benefit from military decorations. Military, military, military. Okay, let's get those in place. Oh, these are actually quite large. Right. I might need to spread them out a little bit then. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Let's shimmy you back and you across. Let's sort out the paths a little bit better. Yep. And now let's get the weapon racks in place. Oh, okay. They're super expensive. How much does the second one cost? Oh uh, yeah, it's it's the it's the building materials that we're shy of. 
Yeah, maybe getting a new sawmill wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh well, we've upgraded things a little bit. Most of it was just decoration, but we ha are going to bring in a lot more food, that being said. Food is the thing that we have the least problem with, I must say, but oh well. Uh, let's just double check. It looks like, yeah, the, a couple of new items have now shown up. We've now got the uh, Vorpal Blade. That looks very nice. Uh, we've got the King Cleaver. We've got the Assassin's Dagger. Okay, very, very nice. We've got a couple of options. But the next adventure. Now, shall we play things up a little bit? Maybe take out a different satchel? Uh, sure. Let's take satchel out for an adventure. Or at least see what uh, options you've got. You've got ice cream, of course. You've got uh, a spark for that. And you've got warrior bird. You cannot find instruments of this type. Instrumental drum. The run ends after area two. But I think going for ice cream would be the way to go. Your energy starts at one and increases each round. I actually really like the the, uh, the ice cream run, so sure, let's go ahead and take out Satchel for another dip into the dungeon. Let's uh, make sure that we've got all of this in the right spot. There we are. Pop. There we go. Looking very cool there, Satchel. But that is going to be it for me for today. I really do hope you've enjoyed and are looking forward to another run with Satchel. It's been a little while. And uh, in the next one, hopefully we will be able to navigate our way successfully through the dungeon and earn ourselves a second Lost Spark. And with those in hand, we'll only be one away from unlocking the final area of the dungeon. Maybe somewhere along these runs we might run into some robot bits as well and start making progress towards rebuilding crate. But that is really going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.